Hello. We're getting ready to talk about some little critters we affectionately call crotch goblins. But today, we're going to specifically talk about how you can protect yourself. And the way we do that, number one, is by using condoms and barriers. And there are so many different styles of condoms and barriers and sizes and things out there. But what we have here for you at the Student Health Center, if you're interested, is we have safer sex packs. These are polyurethane condoms for those that are allergic to latex or prefer the feel of polyurethane condoms. It also contains some lubricant and some very important sexual health information. Then we also have our latex safer sex packs, which contains two latex condoms as well as some flavored lubricant. So specifically, let's talk about couple of different types of condoms. And we'll do a little demonstration here to show you some of the situations that you could be faced with or the proper usage of the condom. So the external condom, better or formerly known as the male condom, it comes in two types. It comes in polyurethane. So if you see that this is a polyurethane, it's not quite as stretchy as a latex condom. This would be a latex condom. You can see there's quite a bit of stretch. Now, they both can be stretched very large. Your choice is, is what feels best for you, what is most comfortable, what gives you the greatest satisfaction. So first of all, we'll talk about the, the latex external condom. Now the latex external condom, well, some of the things or any condom we want to be familiar with is checking the expiration date. So you can see on this one, there's an expiration date right in here. You want to make sure your condom has been stored somewhere where it's cool and dry. You don't want it to get hot because that can mess it up and break down the efficacy. You also want to see if there's any air in this. Obviously, there is air inside this condom because it's not very bubbly or tight. And that means there's a hole or something and some little bacteria and viruses may have penetrated. So we don't, wouldn't want to use that. But for today's demonstration, it'll work out fine. All right. So we take the condom. We want to open it gently. We don't want to tear it with our teeth when we're taking it out because that could actually damage the condom. But we very easily take the condom out, look at it. Now this one has what's known as a reservoir tip. So you can see this and you would gently pinch this. And then what you're going to do is make sure the penis is very erect and hard. And now my little friends here are obviously very erect and hard. You want to make sure that you put it the correct way so that it's going to roll down. You would not want to touch the head of the penis and then flip it over because pre eject fluid can contain the viruses and stuff. So let's talk about scooting it down. And this can be quite enjoyable for your partner or whoever. And you wanna make sure there's no bubbles. You wanna smooth it out. Make sure you got a reservoir tip because ejaculation does occur at about 30 miles per hour. When the sexual act is over with, of course, you would wanna hold on to the base of the condom and you would want to withdraw from your partner, and then you would very gently want to remove the condom at that point. And of course, these are extremely lubricated and stuff. People say there's not enough sensitivity when you use a condom. However, if you use more lubricant, it's going to increase sensitivity. I have been told that the polyurethane condom is provides a little more sensitivity. Now, one of the things we want to look at too or understand is, you know, everybody wants to say, oh, I need a magnum when I'm wearing a condom. Well, that's not necessarily the case. If the condom is too big, and we're going to show you the potential of what can happen when a condom is too large. So this actually is a magnum. It does not have a reservoir tip. And so what we would have to do is make sure that we get the, in the position and we are going to roll this one down. Well, the problem here is look at all of these wrinkles. All of these wrinkles, because it's too large, is going to cause friction and it's going to break down the efficacy of the condom and it's not going to give good protection. We also need to understand that condoms do not protect us from all STIs. They work very well against uh, bacterial and they work very well against HIV. What they don't work well against are herpes and HPV. Now, chlamydia, syphilis, gonorrhea, and certainly Louisiana has some extremely high numbers in those particular STIs. They do provide good protection. But of course, the greatest protection is abstinence. However, you also want to communicate well with your partner before engaging in the sexual act. So these, these are good examples of 
the correct usage, nice tight fit on the external condom, as well as one that is too large. And those are the external condoms. The internal condom is very different. The internal condom is, this is it. Uh, these are a little more expensive, but they, it's called the FC2. Um, it has an internal ring, which is actually removable. These are normally very, very, very lubricated. The way this one works is that you would pinch the inner ring, and this is gonna be insertive, so going into the, the vagina. If this was a female's vagina, it would simply go in, we push it in, the vagina is only about two to three inches long. Uh, except during arousal. This could be put in hours before because it's not gonna fall out because the vagina lies flat. You can see then penetration would occur in this manner. Now, there is a little bit of an issue of this staying in place when uh, penetration is occurring. So we wanna make sure that that would stay in place. If you so choose to have your partner wear a condom as well, when using the FC2 or the insertive condom, you're going to need to use a polyurethane condom with your partner because latex and polyurethane, that combination gets hot, which could be considered fun, but not in this case, okay? They would get too hot and break down the efficacy. Once the sexual act is over, you'd simply remove it, of course. Now, there is a secondary use for this condom. And what that is, is that you would remove the internal ring here and if you want to engage in anal sex, you could insert this into the anus region, and then it would provide protection for the recipient of the sexual act. Or if you're using toys or anything like that, and please keep in mind, if you're using toys or anything along those lines, that you want to also make sure that they are clean, that you're also covering them, particularly if it's not just by yourself, if you've got a partner that's engaging in the toy activity. Lastly, let's talk a little bit about oral sex. And when we have oral to genital contact, we need barriers. They do make those specific for purchase. This is what is called a Sheer Glide dam. They're fairly expensive. You can see the company Sheer Glide. There are other companies that make them, hot dams. They're normally very, very, very lubricated. You can see this is about five by 10 inches. So it's a decent size, but when you're thinking about covering a, a larger area or body part, you, there is something you can do that's much less expensive. You could simply go to the grocery store, go to non-porous uh, plastic wrap, so cling wrap, saran wrap, any type of brand, but make sure it's non-porous or non-microwavable. If it's microwavable, bacteria and viruses can get through, but if it's non-microwavable, they cannot. Then you would cut as big a piece as you need and think, wow, you could really cover all your body parts if you wanted to protect them, use lots of lubricant. And that's a lot less expensive than going out and trying to purchase what's known as dental dam or sheer glide dams or one of those products out there. So that covers some of the ways we can protect ourselves during sexual uh, contact with another person or with toys or apparatus or anything like that. Please be sure to reach out to Wellness and Health Promotion in the Student Health Center if you would like to obtain some free safer sex packs that contain both polyurethane condoms or the latex condoms. And you just let us know which one you might need at that time. And thank you very much. You take care. Stay away from those crotch goblins. <laughs>